Hey everybody, today I want to look at a Geometry Nodes product that really caught my eye. It's called Housecraft. Housecraft simply turns basic shapes into highly detailed and customizable structures. When you get Housecraft, you get a blend file with a basic structure. In the Modifiers tab, we see there's a Geometry Node modifier attached to the building. In the Outliner, we see the file has a bunch of different roof tiles, planks, chimney components, trash, and other things to create this house. But in the Modifiers tab, there's an option to turn off and on the original geometry. Now we can extrude the shape of the building out. We can give it a roof line. And when we toggle that original geometry button off, the structure has been created procedurally. This is really cool. We could keep expanding this or create a whole little town if we wanted to. In the Materials tab, we see different colored materials that could be assigned to parts of the mesh. Each color is labeled to show which components of the house we can assign to a mesh by giving it this material. For example, if I want to add a door to this section of the mesh, I simply select the mesh in edit mode, then select the orange material labeled door and assign it to that mesh. Now there's a door there. Similarly, we can add windows, chimneys, awnings, porches, and damage by using these color ID map materials. The walls are double-sided based on the object's normals. So Housecraft creates the exterior and interior of these buildings, which is really awesome. If we take a look at the settings in the geometry node modifier, we see there are a ton of them. We can adjust the distribution of windows, doors, lamps, chimneys, ladders. We can add random damage to the building. And we can also use proximity damage, which is pretty neat. I'll add an empty object in the scene and choose it as one of the proximity damage objects. Now the structure is damaged in the area of this empty object. I can move or resize the empty to adjust the damage. There's a way to add trash scattered along the floors of the building. Then we can add water streaks to the wood of the building. We can distribute ivy around the perimeter of the house. There are ways to make all these instances real and then to export the object as well. I haven't messed around with those, but once we create a house, we can just copy and paste it into another blend file by using Control C and Control V. We can also duplicate a house and then edit the duplicate to make it different. For what Housecraft does, it does it really well. In a perfect world, it would be cool to see other styles of houses that can be made with this thing. The creator gave me a copy of Housecraft to demo, and it's pretty impressive. It's also pretty straightforward and really easy to use. I have an affiliate link if you want to purchase it. The link gives me a commission at no cost to you. If you think you could use this, check it out. Play around with it. Let me know what you think in the comments.